This is the most challenging high-risk patient in my career. I mean, this is a screaming, complaining breast, and this one is a disaster. What ha is this one deflated or what? The saline must have deflated on this one. It looks as though she has an old-fashioned implant that's called a double lumen implant, where the internal lumen is made out of silicone and the external lumen is filled with saline. The saline part on the outside has ruptured on her left breast. It's days till this turns into an enormous major medical emergency for her. The whole breast is gonna die. I was a dancer for quite a few years and got my first boob job, which were 550 cc's. And then when the featured entertainers started coming into the club, the girls with the very large breasts, I said I wanted to go a little bigger because the bigger the better in this More is business. Better. How big did you go on the second one? 13, 1300. With yeah. what, saline? Yeah. So almost three saline, times yes. the size? So it was, I was told that that implant, I didn't have to remove it. I can push that implant to 3,000 cc's. OK. I've been told that I probably cannot be fixed. You know why? It's so high risk. Why would any doctor want to mm -hmm. tackle this? Why? Most plastic surgeons would say, there's absolutely nothing you can do to salvage D's breasts. I'll tell you why we want to help you. Number one, you're not living a life that I think you deserve to live. You're obviously a very bright, sweet, pretty Thank woman, you. but it's ruining your life, yes? Yes. And two, you have a major medical problem. I don't know what it is we're gonna do till we examine you, but uh, we have to do something. All right, Wonderful. let's go do that. I just don't think I have any choice. I have to take this case on. You cannot leave this woman with these breasts that may be developing a breast cancer that will go on to infection. Somebody has to help her. And if not us, and not now, then who and when? I want to feel that nose again one more time. Well, you really are a collapsed here. You have no airway at all. I hope Paul thinks she's a viable candidate for surgery, because she really deserves to be healthy and happy. Does that hurt? Not so much. No, but huh? I'm so used to it hurting. I, I think it's a natural reflex. So let's just see if there's anything different in there. Do you think that's a scar right there? I don't think so. She already had an incision here. This, to me, looks pretty intact. A lot of what we do depends upon blood supply. So a scar blocks that off? Or? Previous dissection disrupts blood supply. I want to make sure that blood supply coming from the other areas is preserved enough so that you will heal. So you can still do it, though, right? So, yeah, so let's talk about improvement. You have a good chance of 50% improvement and a good chance it could look worse. Really? Yeah. You could lose the entire tip skin. That is on the table. When I was 14 years old, I started a black market hormone therapy. At age 14? Yeah, at 14. Anyways, in the black urban community, the transgenders get silicone pumped in their cheeks, yeah. in their breasts, in their ass. Injecting anything permanent into any part of your body is a bad thing. Injecting silicone destroys the underlying tissue by causing a severe inflammatory response and becomes a chronic problem. So then I learned about facial feminization. I wanted to do it here in America. And when I told the doctors I had silicone in my face, he was like, no. That's when I went to Thailand. And the doctor said, I will saw your cheekbone. He's Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. But that's wow, another that's, dangerous procedure. That's dangerous? Yeah. This right cheek just would not stop. So is it just the right cheek that's bothering you? Just the right cheek. You think it's a little bit too big? I think it's too big. When I smile, I think it's just too big. OK, we see that. You see? But I told her, what if you mm. do surgery with the cheeks and you make an even more big problem? You know? That's right. always our, the consideration we have. Constant injection and modification of her cheeks with silicone. It's dangerous. We always wonder, at what cost if we go in there? There's a hole here right through the bone of the skull mm -hmm. where important sensory nerve comes out. If you bugger up that nerve, mm -hmm. you can't move, and you're like, the nerves are dead. Just down. Dead, and there's no going back. OK, so the blood vessels are dilated. That in and of itself indicates tissue injury and damage. Look how peely your skin is. Now, does it peel like this normally, or were you in? No, it's always been a little bit chafy. 
Chafee. Yeah. yeah. So that's an indication of underlying pressure, tension, generalized tissue trauma, right? We do know we need to take the implants out. We do know we need to do a lifting procedure, which means reduce the areola, reduce a lot of the breast envelope, and lift you up. But we do know that doing that in one stage is extraordinarily risky to your breast tissue okay. and to your nipple. But you might be able to do something that I've only done once or twice in my entire career. I'm ready. Putting a needle into the breast implants and sucking out the fluid. Allowing the soft tissue to retract and everything to sort of relax down. And then, after a period of time, doing one operation. That sounds a little crazy. Stabbing yeah. breast implants to empty the fluid. Yes, it does.